Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about application that will be reading information from text file. So basically what we have, we have a text file with the name myvocabulary.txt. So you, he, you see right now the text file content uh, right now. So we have a word, then we have a equal sign, and after equal sign we have a definition of this word. So what I want from this application? I want this application to accept uh, input from the user, let's say activity, and once we press the button, so application should provide you uh, a definition of this word which will be presented in the same text file. So let's try another word, let's say um, Android manifest. And we see a uh, definition of Android manifest, configuration file for the application. Um, we can try the, the, the last word in this list, for example, a fragment. And it's a screen part that represents a portion of user interface in an activity. So finally, what's happened if we print, if we type the word that is not in the list, let's say service. So in this case, the application will uh, output word not found. So let's talk about this application right now. We will start this application with basic uh, Hello World application. So this is what we have uh, by default. So let's try to uh, adjust this application to our needs. So first of all, um, I will drag and drop button. It will be somewhere here. Second, I need uh, plain text. It will be just in front of the button. And uh, the button and text. And finally, we need uh, to adjust the size of the Hello World text area. So remember that uh, we have to get rid of this hello world without any, any help. And button will have a name lookup. And right now I'll be able to type any word I want. Program for this application will be uh, very short. So basically we need to attach a button listener for the button lookup. So I will press on button lookup and on the right side in the properties I will write here the name uh, I want to, for example, this button to be to have a name on look up and press enter. So you may remember the the, the old trick that we used uh, how to add uh, Java code for this listener. So we switch to text representation. So we click on the method name on look up. Wait for this bulb. And when you click on this bulb, you have a create on lookup new in main activity. So basically, we will be redirected to the uh, main activity class uh, to write this method right now. First of all, in this method, we have to access the edit field uh, where we type uh, the word, right? So we will write here access the edit field from layout. So uh, how to access this field? Uh, we have to double check the name of the field. Um, I would write here the nice ID. Let's say the word. And uh, go back to main activity. And 
method to write find you by id r dot id dot word. So you have to remember this as will be the uh, edit text variable. And don't forget to uh, cast to Android widget edit text. And now we're going to save result in string variable. In this case, we will write, uh, for example, variable the world. And we have to take a textual representation of edit text using get text method dot to string. Uh, now we have to find the definition of the word in file. And uh, the best approach is to write a separate method for this. So the new string, which will have a definition, will be a result of, for example, calling the find definition of the word based on the variable string the word. So this is our job to fry this method, and actually uh, we have help from IntelliJ, uh, so we have to choose create method, find definition below. Uh, now just assuming that uh, definition of the word will be saved in this variable, and we would like to display this uh, definition word in the text view. So go back to the activity main XML. Uh, let's give a good ID for this for this area. Just maybe just def. Uh, go back to the main activity. So let's write uh, text view uh, the definition will be uh, find view by id r dot id dot def. Then don't forget to cast. So now we have to output result. So we have to check if uh, definition that we will find is not null. Which means like this method will return actual definition of the word. Uh, what we will do, we will do a set def variable of the text view. Uh, set text to definition. Spelling is not easy. Sorry about this. Otherwise, the def set text word not found. This is basically all logic for the on lookup method. So I remind you this method is a button listener for the one button that we have to the, in the main activity. But before I would like to uh, create uh, actually file in res raw folder. So for this purpose I have to do uh, the next. I have to right click on the res, choose new uh, Android resource directory. And in this directory, resource type will be raw. Press OK. So if you do it properly, the raw folder will be appeared in this list. So right now I would like to bring an external file, my vocabulary. So I just show you that I prepared already uh, some Android definitions. So I will copy this file, copy, come to raw, right click and paste. So make sure that you uh, agree with this name and press OK. So once you press OK, you see this, this uh, file right now is readable inside Android Studio. So this is important that uh, file is readable and, uh, and you understand the content. So I remind you that uh, the, first, uh, uh, the first part of this 
on the left side of the equal sign is a word and on the right side is a definition of the word. Okay, let's close this file and write the most important method. First of all, uh, we need to open raw resource and connect to input stream variable. So good news, uh, for Android Studio and for Android in particular, we can use uh, all uh, Java input-output method and classes available in the Java input-output package. So let's use input stream for this purpose. So we will create input stream variable from Java input-output package. And let's name this variable very simple, input. And we can call uh, get resources method and uh, open a raw resource. Open raw resource means we will be opening resource in a uh, raw folder and uh, the resource in raw folder has specific ID. And if you remember the ID of the for the my vocabulary txt will be um, actually the name uh, of the file. I don't think I have to type it. It should be recognized by the system. Oh, but I made one mistake because I have to type r raw. R raw, and then I will get my vocabulary. This is actually uh, uh, easy to remember because if you check it here, uh, so the name my vocabulary belongs to the res raw directory. The next we have to open scanner object based on input stream. Uh, this will be just pure Java. We're using scanner object, let's case scan, um, press alt enter for the import libraries, and we will be using constructor for the scanner class based on input, input is associated with our text file. So after identifying input, we have to read stream line by line, so for this purpose we need to create a while loop. So while loop will be uh, working until uh, input uh, stream has something. In this case, we check in while scan has next, which means if uh, this uh, has next, it will return true. Uh, we will be actually uh, processing text file. So what we will be doing? We will be uh, reading line by line, string line, scan dot next line. And basically this is uh, the full line with word and definition. So we have to understand that uh, line is not an answer. We have to split the line for the two parts, word and definition as an answer. So what we need to do here, after we read in line, we have to do some trick. This is not Android, it's a pure Java. So we slice line into two pieces. An equal sign will be a separator for this, uh, for this procedure. So we create a new uh, string array pieces. Uh, by using line dot split, split equal sign. So equal sign is a separator. In this case, the first element of the array will have, for example, everything which is going before equal sign, for example, activity. And second element of the array will be what is will be on the right side of the equal sign, which represent a, a definition of this activity. So I remind you uh, how the information stored in the file. So how to uh, make decision uh, if the definition is corresponds to uh, to this word or not? 
So we need to uh, do one simple check. If PC0 means if the first word is equal in our case to the word that we have as a parameter, we simply return PC1, which is the definition of this word. So this is actually how uh, all uh, process of finding definition would work. So basically, if it's not, uh, if this method equal ignore case will give you false, so the word is not found, uh, otherwise uh, the method should uh, return now. So basically what it will do right now, so we will close uh, while, and we return now after this method. So let's run the project. If you didn't make any mistake, everything should be fine. Alright, let's try activity. And press lookup. Yeah, we have definition of activity. It represents a single screen with a user interface and performs actions on the screen. So let's try content provider. It also works with definition of content provider. And let's try this word is not found. For example, service. And let's say word not found. Okay, it was a short video how to create application to read files, in particular text file from a res or a folder. So please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, yeah, that's all for this video. Thanks a lot.